Hi everyone, it's Miss Finnegan here and welcome back to Flexible Learning Instruction from Home. I hope you all had a fabulous spring break and you did some things that were restful and that were relaxing so you're ready to gear up and jump right back in to our learning. Now I wish I could be with you in person, but since we're not, we're going to go over some of the fun things that we're going to be working on as the weeks continue. So I want to show you our new agenda slide, which hopefully you're already in there because that's how you're watching this video. So this is the new agenda slide, but I'm going to pop over into it so we can look at it all together. So this is our agenda slide. On our agenda slide for today, this is our morning message slide. You'll watch this video, which is recording right now. You will absolutely every day watch it for sure and then click on attendance attendance will take you to a google form so if i click on it really quickly it will pop up here and every single day you must fill in your name and hit submit so i know that you are ready to learn for the day this is how miss how and how i will be keeping track of who is actually working on their assignments so make sure that you hit attendance every day and also of course watch my morning message so Another thing on our morning message over here is our quote of the day. And our quote of the day says, I am not afraid of storms for I am learning how to sail my ship. I love that quote because we shouldn't be afraid of challenges because we are still learning how to navigate them. And that's what that means. We are learning how to overcome. We are learning how to conquer. So don't be afraid of storms or difficult things. Now that also reminds me of James and the Giant Peach, which over here you will see our link to James and the Giant Peach is the Giant Peach chapters 19 and 20 should be up. So if you have not already listened, please make sure that you are listening with James and the Giant Peach because when we get to a Google Meet where we can all finally connect with one another because yay, it's back and we're allowed to use it, that's one of the things I wanna talk about is James and the Giant Peach. So if you're behind, please make sure you click on that link, which will take you to the videos for James and the Giant Peach. And another link that's right here is our flip grid link. So that little green link will take you to today's Flipgrid where you can, of course, ask questions, post work, and say hello to your friends. Now, besides the ad agenda and attendance morning message page, there is another page for today, April 13, 2020, where it shows you your reading, writing, math, and social studies assignments. Now, this is what your cover pages look like for each of those, reading, writing, math, and social studies, I will show it to you. Now I want you to know that you can find all of these things on Google Classroom. So let me take you to Google Classroom really quickly so we can see what that looks like. I'm gonna go to my Google Classroom and just show you what it looks like. Now, if you've already watched that little mini video with your parents, then you have already seen all of this. So you're probably a pro at it already. Now I tried to sandwich our assignments. Here it will say week for flexible learning. And this is our morning objective slides, which if you are watching this already, you have already figured out how to access them because that is our pink slides for the day. And then the rest of the work in your stream, you will see here is your reading assignment. Here is your writing assignment. Here is your math assignment. And here is your social studies assignment. So one thing I want to show you in reading is the new format. that we worked on. So I'm gonna go into Asheria's to take a quick peek at it. Thanks Asheria for letting us use yours. And when I click on it, it's taking me to this green cover page. Unfortunately, it takes a little while to load, so there we go. And I wanna show you one thing. The second page on here shows how there is before you start any assignment, there's a free bonus day. So you recall that a few weeks ago, I gave you a freebie day where you didn't have to do the assignment and you could only read instead of doing the written assignment. So you have one of those each week. So every single day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, you will have to read. But one of those days, you're allowed to skip the written part. In order to do that, you are going to read these instructions and you can copy and paste. So this little sticker right here, you can control C or you can copy. And then you can paste it on the assignment page that you don't want to do. Okay, so that is a cool freebie. Now here for day 15, you're going to be writing about the genre of your book. The cool thing about today's reading assignment is we have a video to help you remember what genre is. 
Genres are the type of stories that the book category falls under. So I am reading Harry Potter and I am on the last one. And I know Harry Potter is a fantasy book. And if I were writing an example, I would show you many reasons why evidence shows that it is a fantasy book and of course not a realistic fiction. Now, after your video page, there is a sample answer page. Here's a sample answer detailing because of Winn-Dixie. So if you're stuck, please read this over. And then finally, there's the page where you do your work. Now, if today is the day that you choose to use the, your freebie where you don't want to do this written response, I would read it anyway. But anyway, if you want to, this is where you would choose to paste that sticker. And then I would know, oh, wait a minute. Ashiria is not doing her reading response today. She's going to do four at the end of the week. But like I said, I would pause on that. This one is one that I think you're really comfortable with. So I would wait for later in the week to do this one today. So that's reading. Let's take you to writing. I'm going to go back to Google Classroom and click on your stream and take you to the writing assignments for today. I'm going to use Mr. Braden Dean's as the example. Thanks, Braden, for letting us use yours as the example. Okay, so today you're going to be writing an informational piece. I'm going to open up Braden's, wait for it to load, and you will see here that it says informational writing days 15 to 24. Watch the video and go to slide two for the daily direction. So you'll watch this video to remind you what an informational writing piece is. Now slide two will tell you how to do your pre-write and planning today. You guys are experts about this by now, so I realize here, here, if you're really listening, you'll see this on most of your slides will accidentally say, go to slide four for planning. It's actually slide three. So you're going to be pre-writing and planning today. You go here, pre-write, think of one or two topics, watch both videos and think of ideas. I want you to remember, we have written a lot of informational pieces, but that is not an accident. In third grade, we start to gather information and create using information that we've learned. So if you're stuck on a topic, I might challenge you to use your heritage project to help you. You could write about a country. You could also even write about an animal. If you're stuck on a topic, remember I will be popping in to help you. And I have a suggestion, writing about an animal is really, really fun. My examples later in the week, you'll see I wrote about wolves and I wrote about their habitat. I wrote about um, their cousins and their distant relatives. So if you want to write about bunnies or maybe big cats or frogs, I love writing about that. And if you don't know as much as you want, Epic is obviously still free at home. So you can use information from Epic or the internet if you want to challenge yourself and look up some information. Okay? If not, choose another topic you're an expert on. So that is writing for today, informational writing. Now for math, if we go back to our stream, you will see that here is math assignments. Math is going to be another slideshow. I really enjoy doing it in a slideshow. We're going to head over to Julian's slideshow today. He's going to give us an example. We're going to take a look at it. Should be a blue cover page. And we are going to take a look at it. So if I go down here, you have a warm up now. Instead of doing name collection boxes, it should look like a journal page. Every single one of these yellow boxes are text boxes. So your answers should be written inside here. My tip for you is have a piece of scrap paper when you're doing math, okay? Do all of your computing and all of your work on the scrap paper and fill in your answers. Don't try to do it in your head, counting by your fingers and in your mind, okay? That never works. So use your scrap paper and then use this as your answer sheet. So every day you'll have a warm up. Then every day you'll also have this video. It's me. I'm walking you through the skill of the day. Our skill of the day today is trade for subtraction. So if you click on this video. Hey everyone, welcome to Math Lessons with Miss Finnegan. Today, we are going to be talking about trade for, you will see my mini example. And then trade for subtraction, where there are text boxes again for you to fill in. After you do those two pages, you've gotten to the game portion. Finish up your math time by playing one of these games, or perhaps two. Now, we've done today five. Stop. When you see that red slide, make sure you stop. We do not want you to go ahead. You must be just doing day 15 or whatever day it is. So that is your math. Any questions, remember, I can be there in the comments, or you can go to Flipgrid. I'm constantly refreshing, trying to keep up with your questions. 
If you get stuck, pause, go to something else, and I will come back and help you, okay? Awesome. Now, let's move on to week four objectives, looking at what we're doing for social studies. Okay, social studies, we're going to be learning about the Lenape Native American. Social studies is going to be super fun. The third grade teachers all worked on it together. And we have a lot of videos and very little written work so you can learn without feeling too overwhelmed. So I'm gonna go to my buddy Jonah. Thanks Jonah for letting me use yours as an example. And I'm gonna take a look at his social studies slideshow. Okay, so there is a video that Mr. M is going to play for you walking you through this entire process of the social studies. So today you're going to watch this video. There's also another video here. It says day 15 in the corner. You will see every day. You're only going to complete these orange slides today. So watch this video and then you'll answer a question about one fact you learned and you'll ask a question about something you're curious about. Now, if you move on, you'll notice this is a yellow slide and day 16. We don't want to go past that. You're only doing the orange slides. What we try to do is color code everything so that you knew when to stop. So for social studies, that's what you'll do. Okay, so I know this morning message was a little bit longer than most of our morning messages, but please always remember to listen to them because this is my only way to reach out and give you instruction. So remember, you have reading, writing, math, and social studies to do today, and I would also like you to make sure that you are trying to catch up on James and the Giant Peach, and all of that can be found in your agenda slide that looks like this. Scrolling down links to James and the Giant Peach, links to Flipgrid, and all of your assignments. If you have any trouble, make sure that you contact me on Flipgrid or in the comments, and I will be there just like I always am. All right, everybody, have a great day, and welcome back. I will talk to you guys soon.